In this lesson, we're going to talk a bit about using robots in the classroom. While I'll be the person guiding you through most of these lessons, my teaching experience has been primarily with college students and in-service teachers. So I'm bringing in the real experts for this one, a colleague here at Rowan in the College of Education, along with some educators who have taken an in-person version of this workshop with me over the last few years. Janet Moss is an associate professor of teacher education here at Rowan University. She taught elementary, middle, and gifted students for almost a decade before earning her doctorate in curriculum at UCLA. Janet has played a key role in this and many of my previous educational robotics workshops for teachers. We'll also be hearing from Rufus Wright, technology coordinator and teacher for the West Avenue School in Bridgeton, New Jersey. Nick Handley, sixth grade STEM teacher at the Hartford School in Mount Laurel, New Jersey, and Melissa Quinones, who co-taught in a fourth grade classroom also at West Avenue School last year, and who's about to begin her career as a sixth grade math teacher in Pemberton, New Jersey. My own motivation for developing this course stems from my belief that every high school graduate needs an understanding of some basic computer science concepts to succeed in today's society. Like math and language arts, I truly believe that computer science should be taught across the K-12 curriculum. Since it doesn't look like computer science is going to be part of the Common Core anytime soon, I think it's essential that we find ways to embed these important concepts and skills within the current curriculum, and educational robots are a great way to do that. It's not that I want every high school graduate to become a computer scientist, but I know that every high school graduate is going to interact with computer scientists over the course of their lives. When someone says to them, the computer can't do this, I want them to be comfortable with simply asking, why not? You may or may not be as motivated as I am to introduce computer science concepts to your students, but I'm hoping that by introducing you to my colleagues and hearing their perspectives, that you'll be convinced of the value of bringing robots into your classroom. Let's start with Professor Janet Moss. Thanks, Jenny. Much of my time at Rowan is spent working with pre-service candidates, both teaching their courses on campus and supervising their practicum and student teaching experiences in local schools. Over the years, I've also conducted in-service workshops and have taught graduate courses on critical and creative thinking and collaborative teaching. While educational robotics can be used to address national and state standards, in science, math, and technology, it can also be used to foster critical and creative thinking across all disciplines and all grade levels. Bringing robots into your classroom also provides many opportunities for differentiation. Interestingly, most robotics tasks can be solved using a variety of approaches, and it is sometimes very surprising to see which students come up with the most elaborate or creative solutions. Jenny and I started collaborating on educational robotics after she invited me to serve as a judge of student research presentations at a robotics event sponsored by First Lego League, or FLL for short. Since then, I've judged for a number of years at both the local and regional levels. My experiences with FLL have made me recognize how educational robotics can clearly benefit upper elementary and middle school students. Although FLL is best known for its robotic challenges, in which teams of students program their robots to complete various tasks, FLL also fosters research skills, teamwork, collaboration, perseverance, and public speaking. You can find out more about First Lego League by visiting the resources section of this course. High school is a time when many students begin to realize the necessity of thinking about their futures. What college, what major, what career path? With today's emphasis on STEM classes and initiatives at the high school level, robotics can open students' eyes to new and varied potential opportunities. Our in-person workshops have attracted teachers from fourth through 12th grades but robots can mesmerize and motivate students in primary grades as well. Robots provide tangible and immediate feedback and can foster such skills as task analysis and sequencing. So, if you are a K-12 teacher, a parent who wishes to work with Lego robots with your child, or you wish to start a robotics club, this course is a great way to begin. Now let's hear from some of the educators who have attended our in-person workshops over the past two years, 
to hear their perspectives, their experiences, and the value they have found in working with robots. This year I started a uh, technology club. It's after school. It's with the uh, fifth graders I started out this year. And we meet two days a week for one and a, for one and a half hours per day. I had a diverse group. Some students were outgoing, some of them were introverted, they kept them themselves. Some of them were used to working with groups, some of them weren't. They were excited to come to school, to go to the club. The club was held after school, so in order to go to the club, they had to go to school. So they were happy to go to school, and they sometimes I would hear them talking in the um, hallway, bragging to other students about what they're actually doing in the, cl um, in the club. It was the first time they actually were in charge of you know building a robot and actually programming it, and they were scared of making a mistake. I had to get them comfortable and let them know that look, we're all going to make mistakes, but that's the part of that's a learning process. Once you learn from your mistake, you're fine. So then you can you know go ahead and do go to the next step. So the class setup for me is, is I see every sixth grader, which is anywhere from 480 to like a little over 500 kids every year, and it's divided into four separate marking periods, which I have for 10 weeks. I've had a couple of students in my classes that were so-called troublemakers in other classes. There were some problems when they were building, because, oh, this is kind of boring, and, but once they got to the programming part and they saw, I put that program on there and I hit that start button, oh, that program did that? And I think that kind of hooked them and I had very few discipline problems, which is pretty amazing when you've got 480 kids coming at you for the whole year. As far as the number of kids, it's usually about three to four students per group. We give them different jobs depending on what we're doing. Um, I divide the whole class up into like three things. The beginning is talking about the managing of the robot. Uh, the second part is building the robot. And then at the end, we teach them how to do programming. Well, this past year, I helped with the technology club, so I incorporated the, the LEGO Robotics into the technology club after school with Mr. Wright. Every single time we had a meeting, it was instant gratification. As soon as they programmed, they were able to um, start their robot, you know, so they were able to see, did it work, did it not work? So it gets them thinking about details. Um, they have to think into the future. If I do this, what's going to happen next? If I do it like this, mm, what do I do after that? For first LEGO League, I was a referee and I scored all of the games for the team. So basically the teams were trying to um, maneuver their robot around the obstacle course. And so I did all the scoring to see different things that they did. It's really interesting because the kids just get so excited at these games and the energy in the room is just contagious. After I did the first one, I couldn't wait to be a ref for the next game. So the kids, you know, they were telling each other, don't forget this program, you have to take that arm off, you know, and they're just so excited. A lot of the things I've been emphasizing lately for the students, the importance of this all is the programming aspect because they live in a world where everything basically pretty much has a program behind it. Their smartphone does, their video game does, their TVs do, and if you learn that idea of that programming language and the ability to program things, you're going to be a very valuable commodity in the world. So with this club, this actually pushes them to, you know, strive to do better. Also, it, it gives them a gateway or a bridge to what they learn in a the classroom. They can now apply that to real life situations. They get, they get to experience something totally different, things that they don't even think about, things that we take for granted in our everyday lives. They realize, oh, there's a computer behind that and I can learn, I, I can learn pr to program it. We hope that now you're even more excited about getting started on your journey into the world of computer science and educational robotics. So let's get started. <music>